Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about sound waves. That is production and processing. This is the basic topic that is present in communication subject. Let us discuss about the topic. Sound. Sound is a form of energy that can be heard and travels in waves. Sound is produced when something vibrates. The vibrating body causes the medium. The medium may be water, air, etc. around it to vibrate. Vibrations in air are called traveling longitudinal waves which we can hear. When the matter vibrates or moves back and forth very quickly a sound is made sound waves can travel through solids liquids or gases let us see some examples when a school bell rings parts of the bell will vibrate creating sound this is the representation of the but when we hit the drum membrane of the drum vibrates producing sound this is the representation of the drum when we play a guitar the string on it makes to and fro motion and produces sound this is the representation of the guitar in the guitar we are having strings sound produced by vibrating prong of tuning fork and this is the representation of the tuning fork let us discuss how sound is generated in drum when a drum is not being played the air particles are spread the same distance apart when the drum is hit the surface moves down and the air particles move away from each other when the drum's surface moves back up the air particles are squeezed together the air particles transfer the sound energy through the air and to your ear representation of generation of sound waves in drum and this is the representation here we are having the drum the drum is vibrated and makes a sound because of this vibration the air around the drum compressed and this compression is passing this creates the sound waves now let's see how the sound is produced in human beings in humans sound is produced by the voice box or larynx two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box leaving a narrow slit when the lungs force air through the slate it vibrates and produces sound larynx is the organ that is involved in the production of sound in humans it is also called as voice box function of voice box in humans the voice box is situated in the neck at the upper end of the windpipe the sound produced is controlled by vocal cords which are thin membranes stretched across the voice box there are muscles that are attached to the vocal cords these muscles can vary the tension in the vocal cords with the help of these muscles we can make different sounds throat 
larynx vocal folds representation. This is the representation of the throat. The throat comprises of nasal cavity, oral cavity and we have parynx, vocal folds, larynx and we have trachea. In the throat only we are having the vocal folds. The vocal folds are responsible for creation of the sound in humans. Let us see how the sound wave reaches human ear. This is the representation of the human ear. Sound wave is generated outside. That generated sound wave reaches the human ear. That sound wave passes the external auditory canal. It hits the eardrum that is present inside the human ear. From the eardrum, it passes to the inner ear. This is indicated here. See how sound wave hits eardrum. This is the representation. Here, a sound wave is generated. That is, a vibration is created. The created vibration is passed to the human ear. This is represented here. Tissue conduction, air conduction. From this, it hits the eardrum. Let us see how the passage of sound wave from outer ear to the inner ear. This is the representation. A sound wave is passed from the outside of the human ear, it is indicated in A, passes through the canal, it is indicated, then it passes the middle ear, it is represented as CD, from the middle ear it is passed to the inner ear and from the inner ear it is going to be passed to the human brain through auditory nerves. Transmission of sound within inner ear. This is the representation of the inner ear. We may have three types of waves. The waves may be high frequency waves. That is, the frequency range is from 1500 to 20,000 Hz. Or it may be a medium frequency wave. The frequency range is 600 to 1500 Hz or it may be a low frequency wave. Its frequency range is 200 to 600 Hz. These waves is passed to the inner ear. This is represent, represented here. Representation of transfer of sound wave from ear to brain. And this is the representation. So vibration is created at outside the ear. It is passed to the inner portion of the ear. And from the ear, it hits the eardrum. And from the eardrum, it passes to the cochlea. And from the cochlea, it is going to pass to the brain. It is indicated here. We usually hear a sound by vibration of ear. See the sequential processing of sound wave. This is the representation. Sound wave is generated that hits the membrane that is present inside the human ear. And inside the ear, we are having the magno sensor. It converts the sound wave to ionic current. From the ionic current, an action potential is generated. This action potential only passed to the auditory nerve and the auditory nerve sends this action potential to the human 
brain to see how the sound wave is processed in the human brain with the help of the temporal lobe the sound wave is processed so we are going to see the function of temporal lobe the temporal lobe is involved in primary auditory perception such as hearing and holds the primary auditory cortex this is the representation of the temporal lobe this temporal lobe is present adjacent to the human ear this lobe is present inside the human brain the primary auditory cortex receives sensory information from the ears and secondary areas process the information into meaningful units such as speech and words let's say sound wave processing in brain when people listen to speech their ear translate the sound waves into neural signals that are then processed and interpreted by various parts of the brain starting with auditory cortex once the sound wave reaches your ear your brain recognizes it in just 0.05 seconds that's 10 times faster than the blink of an eye the faster the stimulus reaches the brain the faster the signal is processed and the necessary response are sent for the necessary motor reaction therefore since the auditory stimulus reaches the cortex faster than the visual stimulus the auditory reaction time is faster than the visual reaction time thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends